Norton Latchball. Hello, it is my pleasure and privilege to extend to you the warmest of welcomes to the Norton Natchball School. My name is Ben Green and I've been head teacher at the school for two years, albeit at times remotely. Normally, I would be speaking to you in early June in a packed hall at the heart of one of our busiest events on the school calendar. Whilst I don't want to dwell on the challenges we've all faced at school, at home and in different places over the last few months, it is not without irony that the only time I've done this event in person was in the summer of 2019, before I took up post that September. Whilst you are not with us now, as we emerge from the restrictions, we can now start to think about and plan for the future. And I hope in this presentation to be able to give you some idea of how we might be part of your son's future. I want to give you some idea of what drives us, something of the ethos of this place, what we believe makes it special, and a flavour of our students' achievements and qualities, which are many and varied, and in listening to this, I hope you like and are excited by what you see and hear. All of us adults can probably remember 2010 to 11. Not least because if your son is potentially joining us in September 2022 or 2023, this is the year in which he was born. That not insignificant event aside, I wonder what sort of recollection we have of the world as it was then, only a decade ago. The American president was Barack Obama the United Kingdom Prime Minister Gordon Brown. We were in the throes of a world economic crisis that ushered in the restraints of the last decade. Your children have only known austerity, which seems strange reflecting on this from 2021 in the midst of a global health crisis. Do you remember what sort of mobile phone you had? Indeed, you might not even have had one. The phone of choice was the iPhone 4. Android was just over a year old. Your sons have never known a world without smartphones. That's only 10 or 11 years ago. Think about how much has changed since then. These and other technologies have revolutionized our lives, and yet now we can barely imagine life without them. Think now a moment about your sons. They are younger than the iPhone, Facebook, and YouTube. Estimates are that one third of them will live to be 100 years old. They will see in the year 2100. Their working lives will extend perhaps to the 2080s. Think of the changes we've experienced in the last 10 years and imagine what they will experience over the next 50. And now, throw in the experience of the last 18 months. For all of us, our knowledge and apparent mastery of nature, we've been reminded of how quickly all of our assumptions and ways of operating can be torn apart and we have to think afresh. The world and communities your sons will study, live and work in is beyond recognition to the world as we knew it and saw it even just 10 years ago. So what sort of qualities do we want to develop in school? Our challenge in secondary school is to prepare students for a future we cannot possibly imagine. But what we do know is that the pace of change is accelerating and will lead to technologies and jobs which do not yet exist. Indeed, it is not too fantastic to imagine that some of your sons will leave Norton Natchball in 2030 to study degree courses that do not yet exist. They need to be confident in their talents and skills. They need to believe and understand that these are not fixed, but can be changed and developed through exposure to different experiences and challenges. They need to accept and be prepared for this uncertainty and change, knowing that they can adapt individually and also in the communities that they live, study and work in. Confident, resilient, autonomous and independent. They need to be multiliterate, by which I mean linguistically, economically, media, technologically and environmentally. Ready to face, meet and rise to challenges, many of which we do not yet know about. How do we prepare our young people to go out into such a world? At Norton Natchball, we combine much that is traditional in some of our values, respect, hard work, smart presentation, with innovation, most particularly, I hope, in our approaches to teaching. All of this is underpinned by a holistic approach to our curriculum, the Natchball Baccalaureate, built on four key pillars which frame the experiences your son will get. We absolutely believe that fulfilling academic potential is central to the work of this school. Of course, achieving excellent results should be part of any school's work. Here at Norton Natchball, we have a hard-earned reputation for being a school which gets impressive academic results, and this is certainly true. 
The qualifications that our students secure are well recognised and have real currency in the wider world, both in the workplace and in the world of higher education. Upon arrival, what students already know and can do will be built on, taught by staff interested in getting to know and understand each student to enable them to support your son, to provide the platform from which he will be able to work and build on to achieve the highest academic levels. This is reflected in outstanding attainment at GCSE and A-level, challenging, exciting and well-ordered lessons, a broad and balanced curriculum offer and holistic support and a focus on praise and encouragement. We have a huge range of extracurricular opportunities and successes, sport, art, drama, music, competitions, trips and visits. These enrich and extend classroom learning, but also develop valuable skills and qualities which support and enhance classroom learning through developing teamwork, lessons learned sometimes through defeat, the impact of targeted coaching and practice and the development of self-confidence. We take pride in a culture of student leadership and contribution to the community, whether this be in school or, or more locally. Year 7 providing a tour at open evening. The head boy. Sixth form students supporting reading at local primary schools. Working with the local council on litter campaigns to develop an understanding of how much we have to both gain and offer through community engagement. And an aspiration to excel in at least one of these areas whether that be through application to the most prestigious and competitive university courses, to representing the county or beyond in sport, or through raising thousands of pounds for charity, that in at least one of these areas, each student will be looking to push themselves to really perform and achieve at the highest level. Originally, this slide was drafted Outcomes and Achievements. But the more I thought about it, the more I realised that our students' outcomes, their achievements and qualities, whatever the examples are, are manifestations of our mission statement. So I will, of course, highlight positive value added at both GCSE and A-level that our students secured better grades than students of similar ability nationally. In the summer of 2019, 89% achieved grade 5 or above in English and mathematics. Our overall attainment score was stronger than both national and local averages. Now, you would expect that in a selective school. However, in terms of value added, which compares students' achievements with similar students in other schools, these two are both strong and positive. In recent years, you will have heard about a national measure being used to measure schools' performance called Progress 8, which estimates how well students have done per GCSE. In 2019, the last Progress 8 measures estimated that in each of those GCSE exams, Norton Natural students did one-fifth of a grade better than would be expected and this for students with a high level of attainment at entry. We will look to continue to improve this. With your year group, I hope that your sons will be securing even more added value in every GCSE that they sit. There's a similar positive story to tell at A-level. But at the same time as talking to you about statistics and percentages, the grades themselves are important, but I hope that you can see this is not the whole story. Behind the statistics are individual stories, of students who struggled at various points, perhaps with additional educational needs, with well-being or physical health, or challenging personal circumstances. The student last year with some of the most significant learning difficulties to overcome, gaining 10 GCSE passes, including four grades nine and two grade eights, as well as an A grade in an A-level maths module. The student who got into the school on appeal beat all expectations and targets through sheer hard work and gave 10 GCSE passes, including four grade nines and three grade eights. The student who faced the most severe personal difficulties and yet gained A star, A and A grade in A levels in biology, maths and physics, and is now studying medicine. The student who exceeded all expectations, gaining A, A and B at A level in psychology, PE and biology, and has taken up a management apprenticeship trainee programme with Nike. Natural alumni are studying at some of the most prestigious universities, Oxford, Cambridge, Durham, St Andrews and Imperial to name a few. It would also be remiss of me not to mention the increasing number of students, many of whom are very high achieving, who have secured high profile, prestigious and I have to say well paid apprenticeships with organisations such as Pricewaterhouse and Deloitte to name but two. Alongside this, they are kind, caring and hard working. There will be a small number of students on results day 
who have just missed the grades they wanted. But there will be a far greater number of students looking out for them, consoling and speaking to them about what to do next. Our mission statement, inspired by the founder of the school, Sir Norton Natchbull in 1637, translates as things done well make the best memories. Everything we do in school and as a community starts with, returns to and should be consistent with the motto. And nearly 400 years on, this still resonates, referencing as it does that it is important both what we achieve and how we go about things. The mission statement on the screen was worked on by students in late 2019, early 2020. They reflected on this, looked at other schools and discussed this at a number of meetings. And they arrived at five core themes, integrity, inspiration, growth, respect and community. Alongside these outcomes, one of the things that parents, students and visitors frequently comment on is the exceptionally friendly, caring family feel the school has. I say alongside, but of course this is not separate, but intrinsic to these achievements. We are a friendly community, founded on and imbued with a clear set of beliefs and values. This springs from our shared belief that every single individual, that's each and every one of our students, each and every one of your sons, has unique value and potential. And we will go the extra mile to do what we can for each of them, to ensure that every student has opportunities to discover, nurture and develop their talents. It is our moral purpose to ensure that their potential is fulfilled. You will have seen on our website some of our students speaking about their experience at school. I want to share an additional quote from a Year 13 student on Results Day. I wanted to say thank you to the school for seven great years. My results today surpassed my expectations and the support and teaching I have received throughout my school life has been outstanding. And one additional quote from a parent received recently. I wanted to thank you and your staff for all of the support and encouragement you have given my son during this unexpected period of absence from school. The home learning tasks set have been appropriate and have kept him engaged and the feedback from his teachers has been encouraging. He has also responded really well to contact from school about his dedication and work ethic. Many thanks for also keeping us up to date with regular emails that have been both reassuring and informative. Let's hope that all students will be able to return to school soon. I've spoken a lot about our students and their achievements. I want to bring my talk to a close by speaking of two more very important groups of people that play a vital role. Firstly, I want to talk of the invaluable support that you provide. We believe in a partnership with parents and carers. We carry out annual surveys and regular parents forums, giving parents and carers the opportunity to say what works well and what we need to do better at. This parental partnership, yes, this means helping with homework, ensuring students get to school on time in the correct uniform, collecting from sports fixtures or rehearsals, but it also means in maintaining contact with us, letting us know of any concerns, let us know what's working well. This is absolutely crucial. And you'll also not be surprised to know that with regard to homework, we have an app for that. And it links with the other important group of people, the staff. For sure, our teachers are expert in the academic fields and they bring this to their classrooms with passion, enthusiasm, vigour, creativity and not a little sense of humour. But I hope that the range of roles illustrated on the slide give an insight into the reality that a school staff's expertise goes beyond teachers' subject knowledge, important and expert as this, as this is. Alongside this, burning equally brightly is their fundamental humanity an unrelenting commitment to get to know our students, knowing that such a relationship will give students the confidence to strive to their utmost. This will help to sustain their resilience when the going is tough and thus meet and exceed their and your expectations. It's difficult in the current circumstances to put an exact timeline uh, in place in terms of the year ahead, but hopefully uh, the broad outline on the screen at the moment gives some idea of the shape of the year ahead. At this point, if this were a traditional open evening, we would now be encouraging you to tour the school and speak to students and colleagues and see them in action. We very much hope that you've been able to explore the information that is on our website and that in the days and weeks to come in September as we go into October, that you are able to take the opportunity to come to one of our open mornings and tour the school in a normal working day. 
You'll see a wide range of lessons and our facilities in their normal everyday use and you'll be able to speak further to students and colleagues. Finally, let me recap what we are about. Firstly, we are a caring community. This informs all aspects of school life, in particular a belief in the value and potential of every individual student. A school which develops that potential academically to get the best possible results for your son, where development opportunities truly excel and abound in and beyond the classroom. A school where outstanding behaviour, respect for self, each other and our environment and zero tolerance of bullying are central. In short, yes, your son will achieve his potential academically here, but you will also benefit both from the all-embracing care and sense of value and belonging and from the fantastic range of extracurricular opportunities which Norton Natchbull School offers because it springs from the core of our beliefs about education and young people. We hope that you will engage with us in something meaningful, something that we believe is aspirational, challenging and excellent, and we will continue to work day in, day out, so that it continues to be so. Not for the local authority, Ofsted or League Tables, but for the moral purpose of providing an outstanding and holistic education for each and every one of your sons. And in doing so together, we will lay the most solid of foundations for their lives, we will know that our time together at Norton Natchbull has been well spent, that it mattered, and that what we did made a difference. Frustratingly, this is the point of my presentation where I usually say that the proof of what I've said is in the human qualities of the people you will meet as you tour the school, those staff and students who I've referred to, because I know that in meeting, speaking with, and seeing our staff and students, that this will confirm this. It is they that will create the most powerful and enduring impression. And when you do get to meet the students, especially if you are able to come on one of our open mornings, I hope and I'm confident that the qualities and attributes that I've outlined as representing those we aspire to foster in each of our students are ones which as a parent you are happy to imagine will one day be those your son will develop. Speaking as a father, I know I would be. Thank you so much for joining us and we do look forward to meeting you soon. Hi, I'm Thomas Dadden, head boy here at the Norton Natural School and I'd like to welcome you to this video, hopefully detailing some student experiences and why you will be choosing NKS. Now, when I was 11, I remember the incredibly daunting jump of moving up into secondary school and I can promise you that that fear and terror you have should not be a problem. Now, Natural is incredibly facilitating at making sure that you don't feel overwhelmed, especially in your first few days and few weeks at Natural. Now, the school environment is one of an incredibly great and tight-knit community. There's a great attitude of both student and teachers. Notably, we have clubs at Natural which really help to build a sense of community. Now, these vary, so you can range all the way from chess clubs and debating society all the way up to rugby and athletics, so there really is scope. Additionally, if something you'd, you're really passionate about but isn't featured currently, you can suggest it to members of staff and that club can be implemented. So there's, there's range for scope for developing the community yourself, so you can play a role. Now, although natural and you're able to take a step back and, and really come into yourself, there's also the ability to, to participate completely. So it's really, really key, I think, to try and get as involved as you can in the school community. I think it's particularly enriching. So sports, notably, is a really key way at Natchbull where how you can get involved in the school. So we've got uh, house events, so you'll put, be put into one of seven houses and there'll be house events ranging from football, cricket to tennis. And this is a really, really great way how you can participate, not only for your form, but also for the school. So the school furthermore participates against other schools, athletics, tennis, football. And as a member of the tennis team in year 10, I found it an incredibly enriching way to become part of the school community and really help to develop a, a bond between yourself and the school and really enjoy your time at NKS. Now there are also internal events which are really something to look forward to when you come to Natchbull. Now at Christmas we have an event led by Mrs Snare, one of our history teachers, called Christmas Entertainment. Now this event is basically a talent show uh, which takes place at Christmas and having seen quite a fair few, I can guarantee it's not something you're going to want to miss. It's also enrichment week at the end of the year in the summer, which is a week-long period full of activities. These can range from sports to debates 
to trips, so you can go to a science museum. Uh, equally, there's a film club, so you can sit, sit back, vote on a film and watch a film with some friends. Now, I think that's an incredible way to build community, but also t take some time off. Now, one key concern moving up from primary school is that the subjects and the lessons are going to get much harder and there's not going to be support available for you. I can promise you that that is not the case at Natural. So Natural has an incredible, incredible wealth of resources and teachers which are able to help you in bridging that gap between primary and secondary education. So there really is no fear moving up to Natural. Now I'd like to thank you for listening to my little section and I hope to see you all in September. Hello everyone, my name is Tierney and I'm the current head girl here at Natch. I feel it's important for me to focus on my experience starting here due to recently moving here a year ago and I'm having a fresh perspective of this process. From the moment I arrived here I felt extremely welcomed and felt I fit in straight away. There is a real community spirit here at Natch and I feel this has helped me fit in and feel comfortable so much more quickly. However, I've also felt pushed in all of my subjects I have taken so I can achieve my best and be guided to reach my overall goals. After experiencing a new school twice, I felt comfortable here much more quickly, especially when you arrive here and are shown next level support throughout, due to the school not being overly large and there being a key focus on all students' wellbeing. I feel this is what has allowed me to thrive and excel here at the Norton Natural and really love my year here so far. I know that from the perspective of moving to a new school, it can seem very daunting, but everyone has to go through the process at some point in their lives and trust me, it's not as scary as it seems. I want you all to feel as relaxed as possible about this move from year six to seven, as I know you will make many new friends, have great experiences and learn lots of new skills and knowledge along the way, whilst always having an abundance of support from the school throughout this process. I wish you all the best of searching for your new school and I can't wait to see as many of you here as possible at the Norton Natural very soon. Stay safe and thank you.